Oscar Wilde once said, the true mysteries in life are the visible, not the invisible. Every day, we walk past thousands of new faces and come across millions of different personality traits. Our brain is overstimulated by this influx of new and enthralling information, and in response, we try to compartmentalize and simplify the grandest mysteries in life. A life in the making is stripped in our minds in only four and a half seconds. In 4.5 seconds, we make judgments about someone and we make lasting impressions. We try to strip down the different parts of a person's aesthetics in hopes of figuring them out, in hopes of unraveling their mysteries. And ironically, we are left clueless as ever. This phenomenon of simplifying everything that seems beyond our capability of understanding or beyond our range is something that is a problem. It hinders us from achieving a full understanding of the world. We look at something from one perspective and we often fail to know that life is actually made of thousands of different perspectives. For example, take quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is a branch of physics that deals with the study of subatomic particles and their behavior. Studies show that when these particles are observed by scientists, they move in a straight line behaving one way. Now when these atomic subparticles are then unobserved by scientists and left to their own devices, they move in complete disarray with no rhyme or rhythm to their behavior. Isn't it interesting that as humans we are millions and billions of times bigger than these particles, yet we exhibit the same properties? What you see, the way a human acts in front of you, in front of their parents, in front of their friends, isn't the true picture. Humans behave differently under the watchful gaze of society. As humans, we have the tendency to step into the shoes of a detective and try and attribute every single detail as if they're part of a bigger solution or a bigger mystery. With over 10 trillion nerve cells that inhabit the human body, it's evident that humans are creatures that were designed to be brilliant at deducing and coming to conclusions. These Thousands of calculated cells have only one purpose in life, to try and make sense of a senseless world. We try to add reason and rhyme to everything, and by doing so, we often lose the beauty that accompanies the chaos. All of this new information that we receive every single day gets sorted into our brains in little categories. They're neat and they're packed. And anything that doesn't fit into these preconceived categories becomes looked at something we need to fear, at something unusual, something impossible, almost like a monster. Time and time again, it's said that humans fear the great unknown. But in reality, humans actually thrive in the unfamiliar. For example, take death. Death may be one of the most tragic instances of life, but it's also one of the most comforting in the sense that it's completely undefined. Humans can spend days, months, years trying to figure out and unravel the mysteries of death, but in the end, we still don't know any better. Death, and every single day we ask ourselves questions. Who are you? Where are you going? What is this? Why is it like this? And Oftentimes, in our quest to find the answer to the question why, we come up empty-handed. This obsession that humans have of simplifying and trying to solve mysteries as soon as possible is exemplified in nothing better than cop shows and detective dramas. These actors, writers, directors, and producers have come up with a plot, have come up with the answer to an intricate murder plot or a vast mystery about space in just 45 minutes. Real life isn't like that, though. Mysteries can't be solved with the snap of a finger or the blink of an eye or even the push of a button. The true point of mysteries is not to come to a conclusion as soon as possible, but to bask in the approach. Mysteries provide humans with something that nothing else can. It provides us hope that on the horizon, there exists something that is undiscovered yet. They provide a hope that there's always something out there that humans don't know, and there's always something to strive for, something to wake up in the morning for. It's about discovering the truth, self-discovery, improvement, and exploration 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the definition of what it means to be human.